All the debate and discussion over boosters has left a lot of people with a lot of questions. Let's bring in Dr. Frank Me George again back to answer more of those questions that have come into us through ClickOnDetroit.com. And uh, Doc, let's start with a question about another vaccine people need to get, right? Yeah, Devin. So Robert writes, this is a question about the flu vaccine. How do they come up with the flu vaccine for this year if there weren't many cases of the flu last year? Should I still get a flu vaccine? So Robert, you are correct that this year's vaccine is in fact based on less data than the flu shot of prior years, simply because there were so few flu cases last year. Basically, researchers had to work with the data that they had. But yes, you should still get the flu vaccine because it offers some protection even in years when it turns out to not be a perfect match. Now, here are some more of your questions. Esther asks, is the booster vaccine formula different than the vaccine itself? If it isn't different, then why do we need to wait for approval from the FDA and CDC for the Moderna and J&J &J booster vaccines since they were already approved for use? The Pfizer booster vaccine is the same as the original vaccine, and Johnson & Johnson plans to use their original vaccine too, but Moderna has actually proposed using a half dose of its vaccine as a booster. That's because Moderna gave a higher dose initially. Because each of the three vaccines are different, we are waiting for the FDA and CDC to evaluate Moderna and J&J &J data on the need, safety, and effectiveness of booster doses. Lori asks, when they first said that people with compromised immune systems could get a booster, I walked into Walgreens and got my third shot of Moderna. Is that okay with what's going on with Pfizer and their boosters? Yes, and this is an important point. A third dose of Moderna is already authorized for immune-compromised people. That's because follow-up studies have found many did not get a sufficient response to the first two doses. The recommended third dose of Pfizer or Moderna for the immune-compromised is separate from the recent discussion about boosters for other groups. Now, finally, Margaret asks, I'm a psychotherapist and I'm wondering if I qualify for the booster. I see patients in person very regularly. I'm a little confused with the new CDC recommendations coming out, and it seems like the most recent update is that healthcare workers do qualify for the booster shot. So the answer, Margaret, is yes. As a healthcare worker, you would qualify for the booster. Back to you. A lot of great questions. They just keep coming in day after day. All right, Doc.